In this video, I'll show you how to create an AI avatar. If you find this guide useful, please consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please consider leaving a like and let's get right into this guide. The first thing you need to do is go and open up a web browser and that can be any. And then what you need to do is go and search for Discord or just go straight to discord.com. So in this guide, we're actually using Discord because we can actually go and utilize a Discord server because that's how Discord works as servers. to so go and create an awesome AI avatar and profile picture. So either you can go and press open Discord in your browser or you can go and download the app if you don't already have it. So press open Discord in your browser um, and you'll need to go and create an account. And once you've gone and created a Discord account, which is completely free by the way, you'll then be taken to a page which looks like this. Then what you need to do is go over to the left hand side of Discord and go and tap on this add a server button. It's a plus, go and tap on it and we'll get this pop up here. Then what you need to do is come to the bottom where it says have an invite already and go and tap on join a server. Then we've got this invite link box and all you need to do is type in something called mid journey. Mid journey is a fantastic server we're going to go and utilize. So go and type it in M I D J O U R N E Y like so, and then you can go and press on join server like so, and it's going to go and take a moment and you may need to go and complete a quick verification. And then once you go and join it, it's going to go and say, let's customize your experience. And there's a few quick questions you can go and set up. So just go through them and you just need to choose your location and that's it. So we've now in the mid journey server and what you need to do is go over to the left hand side. We've got all these different options here and scroll down until you go and see newcomer rooms. So you can use any of these four here. I like to go and use the sort of lower ones because they tend to be less busy. Just to briefly explain what a room is, it's basically just like a chat. And in the chat, we can actually go and create our AI um, avatar and image. So if you didn't know what mid journey is, it's basically AI software. So what you go and do is describe what the what you'd like the image to go and look like, and then it's going to go and create it. So that's really, really awesome. So what I recommend doing is scrolling all the way to the bottom using this sort of uh, cursor on the right hand side, like so. And then what we can do is go and tap on this uh, message box here. And what you need to do is type in slash imagine. So I M A G I N E. And then you're going to go and get this part up here saying uh, slash imagine prompt. And then what you need to do is it's going to automatically put your cursor in this prompt box. And what you need to do is go and describe what image you would like. If you're creating an avatar for yourself, then what I recommend doing is going describing how you look like. So yeah, go and type in the main details of yourself. So here's what I went and wrote here. I just try my best to go and describe myself. Some keywords I recommend using though after you've gone and described what the image you like. I recommend adding 4K so it's really crisp, high resolution, and if you want like a cartoon effect, then add cartoon. Um, and you can always add pro profile picture as well, see if that makes it difference and then go and hit enter and then once you send it it's then going to go and say waiting to start and as you can see it's now started it's got this percentage thing so wait for it to complete and it's already giving us a rough idea of what these look like but yeah just keep waiting now as you can see we get these four different examples and what you can do is use these options at the bottom so what you stand for is upscale so this basically means you're happy with the image and you want to make it bigger and just to make it clear you've got one two three four which is how these correlate here and if you see one of them, which you want to sort of see more variations of, for example, this second one here, I'd quite like to go and see, then you can go and press V2. And here we go, I've now gone and received my variations and you can go and get more variations of one of them if you'd like. But once you've gone and found one you like, then what you need to do is identify, in this case it's number three. So I'm gonna press on U3 like so. And now what it's going to do is go and create a big version of this one here. And then here is the final image. So then you can go and tap on it. And if you want to go and save it to your computer, all you need to do is right click on it once you've enlarged it and press save image as and then we can go and download it onto my computer just like so and there we go I've now gone and got the image 